All right, I am so excited. Next up on KCRW, Radiohead, Joni Mitchell, Nina Simone, Jimmy Cliff, Coldplay, Tom Waits, live on Morning Becomes Eclectic. I was sitting in Tony Berg's office at Geffen Records listening to the 12-inch single of Loser, and I remember looking at Tony after the record finished, and I said to him, I'm going to play this record tomorrow to open the show, and all hell's going to break loose. 89.9 KCIW, I'm Nick Harcourt, and you're listening to the first U.S. radio appearance of the band Coldplay. This is called Yellow. I remember very clearly, it was an afternoon and the hallways of the station were jam-packed with gear. I was in edit two, this very room, talking to Joni Mitchell. She was in here smoking away and we were recording the conversation. And toward the end of it, I said to her, hey, Michael Stipe's down the hall, he wants to meet you. Do you mind if he says hello? She says, no. She pops up. We go out in the hallway, and there's Michael Stipe. And we got to witness their first meeting right here in the hallway. Barry White came to the station in a long gold Stutz, a recreation of, say, a 1930s car like a Duesenberg or the type of car that John Dillinger might drive. He also wore a chartreuse silk suit, and he had vanilla-scented jerry curl and a lot of it in his hair. The station smelled like Barry White for a long time afterwards, and I was happy. There are so many examples where we're the first stop for emerging artists, and I had the distinct sense uh, from meeting Lord and, and also just hearing the music that this was predestined to go big. And, you know, she promptly blew up. The ensuing year was, like, huge. Yeah, I'll never be 